uh, gonna go do that fire firewood over at the other house. Uh, I think I'll take my gator this time. Gosh darn ice. <laughs> Fell off from underneath me. Um, since I got a little bit of wood left in here from last time. Um, rather than start the other gator, although it's... Uh, Eh, it's only a few pieces. I'll just go start to dart the other gator since it's got a bigger bed and I can get done quicker. Not going to show you guys uh, doing the wood again because uh, I really don't feel like boring you guys try and keep it interesting here okay so um, we're out at this the back building here um, doing uh, firewood today um, there's just a lot of it here um, we're making headway through it um, mixing it as I go um, obviously this is gonna get uh, chewed down before that slab wood over there will or vice versa um, I'm mixing it half and half, um, every load, um, just burns better that way. Different varieties of wood here, um, I know my woods to a degree, um, uh, cherry has a distinct smell to it when you first cut it, uh, like that piece over there. This piece here, um, it's got a little bit of a smell to it. Uh, or is this maple? I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, this wood is aged a little bit. Um, I see a couple of these big pieces here. Uh, I need thrown back over. Um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Wood is wood to me. Um, if they, uh, this stuff here, I know for a fact, is real stringy when you split it. Um, it's just, it's just stringier than I'll get out. Um, I don't know, I don't know why that is. The fibers in it are real stringy, um, or something. Um, but that's pretty much all that this is, is just that wood there. Um, yeah. Um, 20 ton log splitter, we put it under our roof all winter. Uh, good engine. Uh, brings a Stratton. Or, I think it's a Honda. Oh well. Another piece of that same stuff. Um, got a couple different pieces here. Uh, these bigger, gorky looking pieces that one just split right open um but yeah um so just and then this is obviously slab wood here from uh oh you guys remember the video i did uh go check it out um old sawmill is the title um if you guys see way back there uh, we'll i'll point it out on the way home um that was all woods back there and they had the sawmill set up um that's a oil well pump jack um they uh it uh they had their sawmill back in there cutting it and they just they just left this stuff back there in big bundles and that and dad and i took the skid loader back um and uh his flatbed trailer loaded it all up um it was still you know had the band they put bands around it um to keep it held together but uh we loaded it up brought it up here and uh one of the guys and i from uh over at the uh, the uh, sand and gravel pit 
uh, come over and uh, we spent about oh good grief it seemed like two months on end uh, just cutting and splitting and cutting and splitting and it was just man what a nightmare um, huh. I am so sick and tired of I don't mind splitting wood once in a while but it's like all the time like we were doing it was like holy crap um i finally got to the point where i was like enough's enough um i got the chisel plow here but it's not what the video is about um keep it under weather under shelter but yeah so um i think i'm gonna split these bigger pieces down once I get a little more room to work in here and uh, get this eight back a little bit more working my way down from the top instead of from the just going in at it and pulling and having it all start to fall and everything um, that's just the way I do it got myself a bench I could set up there and stand up there and pull it down from the top and hit the machine and hit the bed I mean and um, do half and half so that's kind of where I'm at so thanks for watching guys check back in a few so um, way I like to cut my wood is nice and big uh, like this piece here them pieces I can handle size like that but uh, mom when dad and I are, are at work or she doesn't go to work um, it's a family run business so she's allowed to pick and choose her days but oh well uh, that's to be discussed somewhere else um, but she can't handle pieces like this and it's like oh well toughen up uh, she don't like when I tell her that but um, I can handle them so it's you know all that matters and dad's like good grief why don't you cut them smaller for your mother it's like again I can handle them it's all that matters <laughs> so we're making headway so we'll uh, we got enough wood here to last us probably two more winters this one and another one so I don't know if you guys remember or not but this used the field used to come over a little bit more uh, along the edge here. Um, I don't remember exactly where the pine trees started. Um, I think somewhere along here you can see. Um, let's see. Yep, I see the marker up there. So the pine trees, I don't know if you remember or not, but that row of pine trees used to start, it was weird. There was, it was all woods on this side, as clear as the eye could see. I mean, this is just swamp anyway. We're gonna turn this into pasture. But the tree, uh, pine trees, I wanna say, yeah, it was back there, because or was it back right here did it the pine tree start but well then what was this little grade here I I don't oh this was the access to get out of here and then you went over that way and up that way over behind my grandma's to get out of here uh, that was the only way in here but um, the Amish logged all this out. They took what they wanted. Um, then we had Edwards Land Clearing come in. Um, I worked for them for a day with the off-road truck, uh, just as a cleanup truck for cleaning up and that. Um, but the woods uh, used to go all the way up to this cornfield up here. And this, mind you, this is a swamp here. We. Uh, put pipe in put this pipe in right here to help get this to drain a little better on both sides um, 
but yeah, so that's the story of that. Okay. You guys enjoy. Thanks for watching.